Hello, Malua5 here. I'm going to take you through one of the new features of the World of Warcraft Machinima tool, namely the waypoint system. The camera based waypoint system might look really simple, and it is really simple, you just have to understand how it works. So if you just start up by going into spectate mode and setting a few points, it might not do what you actually think that it will do, because you might not understand the way that it uh, does the uh, pathing. So to fully understand that, we have to go in here and show a little drawing of how this works. Now imagine this is a tower, a big tower, and we want our camera to move around the tower. So as you can see here, let's just remove these. Um, here we have a few points. We have a point here, we have a waypoint here, waypoint here, a waypoint here, a waypoint here, and a waypoint here. Now. This is what you might think is the waypoint that you need to set. But the camera tool uses B spline interpolation, which means it has to have some some pointers. So when you set the first point, which will be this one, the second point you set is actually this one. So the the second point you set is not this one. Um, so you have to understand that when you set the second point, the camera will not go through that point. So if you, for example, go into the tower and set the second point, the camera will not go into the tower. It will just use it as a directional force for the camera. That it will start going towards the tower and then lean towards the next point. Now the third point set is actually this one over here. I'm just going to select both of these so you can see them. So after you set point 4, we can have, for example, point 5 also pointing into the tower. Then the camera will actually reach the tower. But if you set it out here, into the ground, or maybe at the point where you started, it will make a different kind of splines, or a different kind of path for the camera. And the fourth point you set is actually this one. Now this is not the case for the entire path. This is just the first four points you set in the um, in the sequence. So always when you set the first four points, you need to place you know four points between just two waypoints. Now you might think, okay, what about the next one? What about this point here? And what about this point here? Why is there no four points here? And I'm going to show you why that you don't need to set four points there. It is because when you move around this point, point three, the point number five will automatically move mirrored in the uh, point four. So why would you need to set that? Because if you could actually um, move around this point, it would look like this, and the camera would have like a very awkward square movement unless you are really good to make uh, the point just mirrored in, and if that were going to be the case anyway, why not just make it do it automatically? So it does that automatically. So to fully understand here, the first four points you set is these. The first point you set is a waypoint, the next is a tangent, the next again is a tangent, and then a waypoint. Now the next you have to set is this tangent over here, and then a waypoint. So. Waypoint, tangent, tangent, waypoint, and from then on it's just tangent, waypoint, tangent, waypoint, tangent, waypoint, because when I set this one, the next point will also be set, and the same goes for the rest. So it's just simple as that. So let's try to go into World of Warcraft and see how this works. Now, instead of just using that at current waypoint button I've made, you can just press F5 and it will add the point that you're currently at. So that's a little bit smarter. So if I try to do like before and make the waypoint go actually inside the building. So I set a waypoint right here. This is the first waypoint. The second one is a set a target. So I go inside the building. The next one is going to be the next target. We're going to set that one here and then one here. So let's just review them. 
we have this one, then one inside, then the next one, and the fourth one. So if we play that through, you will just see what I uh, showed you just before. So as we play through them, it will not go inside the building. It will just use it as a directional force. And then move on to the next point, slowly. Now remember to keep a... Uh, a a uh, linear um, uh, distance between the points because if you s make a short distance between two points and then a long distance between the two points uh, it will change the speed it's something I have to fix in a later version but currently you just have to do it the uh, the little bit difficult way of uh, actually uh, um, yeah, setting them like with an equal distance so let's just clear these and uh, let's try out some awesome camera pathing here. So uh, the thing is that the camera does not need to uh, view the direction that uh, it uh, is flying. So if we want to look at this building while we're flying up towards it, we can set a waypoint here. We can set one here. Just this is time gap. And one here, and one over here. And I can just, if I want the camera to point down, for example, on the graveyard here, I can just point down here. And then the next one, go into place. Ah, uh, the movement keys bug up. Do that sometimes. Arr, come on, come on, come on. You just have to spam the buttons if that happens. Then eventually it will go away, but it doesn't. Well, let's just add two more waypoints. One here and one looking at the castle. Let's just view that last one again and make it view the or North Shire Abbey. Well, from that. So replace this. If I hit the replace this button, it will of course replace what we just had. And the same, that was okay. So when we play this back, you can see it looks at the Abbey. And what should happen now is that the camera should go down to the graveyard and not look in the direction that we're actually uh, flying. You can see looking down at the graveyard and then just looking down and it should then return back and look at the Abbey again. So that is just, you know, super cool. It looks super cool. And if, uh, you know, we went into the tree at this point, it was, oh, what are you going to do? Well, you can always replace the points. So if we don't want it to go into that branch over there, we can just replace the point over here. Then play. And when we hit stop, we go to the next point. So if we just place stop here, and then we can play back the last part again. Let's just see how it goes. It does not move into any branches here, and it did right there, but maybe we can cut that out in the final editing and it does not move into the tree. So you can always fix your path later if uh, something fucks up or if you don't like uh, like it like it is. So it's, um, it's cool to do it that way. Now remember, always have a, a round number of... Um, of uh, uh, waypoints. Yeah, waypoints. Because if I add another waypoint here, that will make four, five, six, seven. One, then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, seven. And uh, the problem is, if I do that, we have a tangent but no waypoint at the end. And what actually happens when we do that? Just going to show you. It will think that the next point is zero point zero. It's a little bug, but. Uh, just play by the rules. Always add an equal number of waypoints, else it will go to 0, 0.0.0, 0, which is somewhere where Dalaran is located or something like that. So let's just stop it here.